Right, hello and welcome to Stop Abandoned Places. Today we are at this abandoned World War II US Army crane train with the Welsh Enter. So the bit of the track down there is active. We've gone on the disused part of the track. We haven't walked on any active tracks. So it's used by a heritage railway. But this bit is abandoned. So we're going to see you guys there. So guys, we're having a look at this train. You can see it's in quite a poor state of disrepair. Look at that. I'm not climbing on this because it'll fall through. I can, uh, yeah, all derelict left here. Look at the state of that. Oh my God, this plant's growing through it. Look at that. It's a bit shiny part, so that's recently been pushed in and pushed out a few times. Yeah, I don't it's know, I think it's been left here a while though. But you can see that is not World War II either at the same time, that connection. Yeah, they tried, I think they tried doing something I, yeah, with this I about think, 20 years ago. I think about 20 years ago, like Sam said, they tried to... Restore it. Restore it to a degree. Look at this. So I can imagine this would have been covered in some sort of wood or felt. Look at that, look at, the, look at nature taking it over though. Yeah. Look at that. It's going to all these plants, guys. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Nature is truly taking over this thing. So obviously yeah, this yeah. is the stuff that's fallen off the trees and started growing. Yeah, look at that hanging down there. Yeah. Light fitting by the looks of it. it, it I, I can imagine so because look at the new wiring by there. It's all new, relatively new wiring. So you could tell they, they tried doing something with this like 20, 20 years 20, ago. 20, 30 yeah. years ago. But we got that by there as well. It's all pretty... Yeah. Brand new connections. Obviously, it's not brand, brand new. Brand new for the last you know. the last few decades. It's, yeah, yeah, it's about twenty years brand new. I'd say. The last couple of decades. Yeah, and then we've got another bed. Obviously, these sidings would have popped up and connected to these clips, but yeah. But this is amazing. I love seeing stuff like this, especially old World War Two trains. Oh yeah, fantastic. Not often you get to see something like this, no, is it? Definitely. You're probably thinking, like, why? How does he know it's a World War II era train? Because on the photos that we have seen of certain websites, at the front of the train is American military insignia. So we're going to take a look at that. That looks like an extra large deep fat fryer to have done it. It does a bit. <laughs> it does a bit. But as you can see, guys, whoever was trying to restore this train is actually coming up to us. Whoa. Actually, where's the front of the train? There it is. Oh, that's tiny. I didn't think it'd be that small. <laughs> Beware, balance weight when coupling up. Okay. <laughs> so we've got something WD633. Oh, 63063. 63063. Yes, we'll try and get up there. See some workings as well. Yeah, kind of a bit, but it does look a bit dodgy. And we've got Bedford. Engineers crap. Is it Crafton? So Bed Bedford, this was built here though. Bedford. It was built in England then. Yeah, 512. So it's good. We'll have to try and do some research on that. So this oh, was built in England? In front, man. Well, it was a crane train, as yeah, you can tell, uh, wasn't it? it was yeah, it's a uh, crane train, clearly. And it was built in 1540. Num oh, it's actually crane number 51540. And it's got a 611 right next to it. So obviously you can see this would swivel on that, on that bottom plate to the little wheels you can see the there and below. How amazing is that? I'm gonna get a picture just get, of it. Just get a view of this guys. Like, yeah. Look how big this thing is. It just goes all the way down there. From there to all the way up. We'll try and get this a picture of it. But obviously this is the end of the right? Look at that. It's beautiful. Some of the old chain is there as well. Heading around this side now. 
Can you see the old the American military star there? Oh, fantastic Does a bit, doesn't it? So, the hunter is going into the uh, cab path. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. For this have a little walk down here as well. well we're going to have a look inside there now. Well, see if we can get look at that. Inside it. But that military star right there, that Amer American military star. Not obviously only a small one guys, but yeah, not, not every day you get to see something like this, is it? You can see old plants growing over the couplings for the train. There's numbers here as well. Walk right down here. Look at this, guys. Let's see this side. Big bolts coming out there. It's very armoured along this part, as you can see. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. We might have a little look inside. And we'll, then we'll see you guys in the next one then. As well, an engine or oh. <laughs> turn the whole thing up here. <laughs> Possibly, so look at that. that. All the chains down there, guys. The parts. Wow, we don't know this. This is it's clearly its final resting place, but what a place! Though. What a, place. a big giant nice little winch window over there, so you cog can see there. Where he was. See the window, an absolute fantastic little cog. Though. Fantastic. So there we go, guys. Um, so I'm going to have a look inside, actually. And you can see the winding. You can see the winding cogs here for yeah, the for the chain. Look at that, guys. Absolutely fantastic. It's a big old place in your face. Guys, we're actually inside the cab now. A bit rusted up there, though. If you look at that. Got the windows. Yeah, look at that. Bedford. Crafton, Bedford. Thank you for watching, guys. So there would have been a driver here operating and they would have turned this. And here, look. It's all rusted there now. It's all rusted, as you can see. Look at that, guys. You can see out here, look. Alrighty then, guys, that was the abandoned US Army crane train. Hope you all did enjoy this video. It was pretty decent explore, even though it's only small. It's only a little, only a little train. It's an interesting little explore with the Welsh Hunter over there. There he is. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one.